Hey everyone, it's Linda. Today's video is gonna be a collab, and I'm doing this collab with Jackie. She's beautiful, sweet, kind, and she's always smiling. She's so good-natured, and I'm gonna link her channel below. The uh, video is gonna be four looks, four outfits, four hairstyles, and let's just jump right in. I just washed and dried my hair, and the shampoo that I'm currently using is the Aveeno Nourish and Moisture shampoo and conditioner and today well first off i'm hoping that you guys can see this the lighting's good it's really dark and cloudy here today i'm in my bathroom i have a window over here and a ring light over here and two overhead lights going hoping that it gives us enough lighting but today i am going to go for just a straight look and the only product that I'm going to put in my hair today is this macadamia oil. And I'm going to spray a little bit of that in my hair. It's a very fine spray. And I've showed this um, product in my Amazon favorites. Um, I think I recently showed it in a small haul video. I love this spray. It makes your hair really shiny. Doesn't leave it greasy. Doesn't weigh it down. And I'm going to use a flat iron today. My daughter gave me this flat iron. I think she got it at Sally's. Whoops, I'm caught. Okay, I've got it. I'm loose now. <laughs> My daughter gave me this. She got it at Sally's. I'm also going to use these really large rollers just to hold my hair as it cools. And I'm not sure if we're going to go with the middle part or a side part. I'm just going to jump in here and start doing a little bit of straightening and curling and see where we go. But can you see the shine? That, that way I'll leave my hair so shiny. I love it. Okay. I'm just gonna take my bangs and all and just smooth those out with this flat iron. I think I called it a curling iron earlier. I feel like I have to slouch. I'm hoping you guys can get a good idea of what I'm doing here. I'm gonna curl that back, get this in there too. I'm gonna look in the mirror over here for now so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And let me add another clip just to hold that. I just love how shiny that that oil makes my hair. I don't, just don't know if you guys can see it, but I hope that you can. And I'm gonna grab another section back here And I'm going to smooth it out. And put this on a large roller until it cools. They're Velcro, but I still like adding a clip just to hold it a little tighter. Over here, so section off an area. And I'm going to curl this under a little bit. Lost a little hair, but that's okay. Does it want to grab? There we go. Do the same thing on this side. The earrings I'm wearing today, I picked up at Shopco over the summer for a couple of bucks and they remind me of a snowflake. So I'm wearing those today. Okay, so we have the top section of our hair straightened and cooling on these large rollers. And now I'm just gonna smooth out the bottom section of my hair. And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go under, I'm just gonna kind of almost flick it out at the end. Just going over it lightly 
My hair is pretty straight to begin with, but it does tend to want to be a little frizzy. So I like to go over it with the flat iron just to make it a little smoother. Okay, I think these curlers are probably cool enough. So I'm going to let my hair out. As you can see, it doesn't add any curl. It just adds a little teeny bit of shape. So the top section is kind of going under, and the bottom is more of a straighter out flicked. The bangs, I may have to do these work on these a little bit. We're gonna see how they look once I take the curler out. And this side needs a little bit of work. Just gonna sort of round it a little bit. Today I'm just going to use this hairspray that I showed you from Cape Beauty because it's a real soft hold and I don't want a, a stiff look today. I just want a really smooth, sleek, straight look. So I'm just going to spray a little bit. sleek and this is what really helps me with this look. Today I'm wearing a forest green sweater. It's oversized with a pair of super skinny jeans that are from Old Navy. I got these jeans this year so they're still in stock. It's just they're dark washed super skinnies and I'm wearing a pair of brown riding boots. Okay, by now you know the drill. Clean hair, clean washed hair, just dried. But today I'm gonna go for, I don't know, I just call it the bend. It really isn't a beachy wave, but it's a little bit of a bend in my hair. And for this look, I have added the Cake Beauty, their, um, the Wave Maker, the texturizing spray. And I'm gonna use this, I think it's about an inch and a half size curling wand. And I'm gonna go for a center part today or somewhere around there. I just kind of part it and sort of let it fall where it wants. And I just take some of my hair and I start up as close as I can to the top and I just curl it a little bit. I don't curl the bottom section of the hair, just the very top and let it go. And all I'm going to do is curl the top section of my hair. I'm not going to curl the under section, just the top. can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to go all the way around, just doing the top section of my hair. All I want is a bend. Okay, 
continue around and I'll come back. Okay, I've gone all the way around. And as you can see, all I have is basically a bend at the top of my hair. The bottom is straight. My hair gets very straight on its own. But if you want, you can just come back in with a curling iron and just straighten the ends a little bit more if you want. So that's today's style. Just sort of a twist on the beachy wave, just a little bit of a bend, a more casual look. Today's outfit is a red plaid top. I've just done a front tuck with it and a pair of black jeggings and a pair of black boots. Today I'm going to go for a curlier look, more of a beachy wave, and I have added this Tresemme mousse to the roots of my hair. And I've also sprayed my hair with this Cake Beauty The Wave Maker. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. Still feels pretty silky down at the ends here. My hair has grown quite a bit already since my last haircut, but I think I'm going to let it grow for a while. And I don't know. Just go for an off center part today. And the wand that I'm using is probably about a one inch wand. I don't section my hair. I start at the top and I add a little curl underneath. That's just how I do it. If you like to section, you go right ahead and section. Let's see. Yeah, I think that part's okay. I don't like I don't like perfect hair. If you do, I mean I have nothing against perfect hair, but for me personally, I like my hair to look a little bit messy, a little undone. So my part's not perfect. And that's just the way that I like it. I'm going to add a little more spray right here. Okay. And let's start curling. As I curl, I curl, I start my curls. Let's start this over. I start with the curling wand up high and I kind of slowly release pressure and pull downward. And I go just about to the end. Hold it there for a minute and then just kind of slide it out just to smooth the frizzy ends. I'm gonna let that cool and we'll break these curls up a little later. pressure slowly start sliding it down the curl down the hair I'll show you how I do the front here on this side and then I'll just finish up and come back and show you once I loosen once the curls are cooled and I loosen them but again just starting at the top slowly releasing some pressure Pulling down. And I'll finish going all the way around and I'll come back. All right, I've curled all my hair, but today is one of those days. I'm not sure if it's because it's so damp out, but my hair doesn't want to curl today. So I'm doing my best. I've already gone all the way around my hair once. But I'm adding a few curls again here and there and trying to make it a little bit wavier. Okay, I'm not going to do a lot of loosening up today. 
because I know it's gonna it's gonna fade fast. I think that's just about as good as it's gonna get today, guys. Today I am wearing a black cable knit turtleneck with black skinny jeans, brown boots, and this faux fur vest. It's from Liz Claiborne. I'm going to be going to a play at my granddaughter's high school this evening, and this is the outfit that I plan to wear. I like the length of this vest just below the hips. It has hook and eye closures if you want to close it. All right, today's look, I'm going to try to do a low bun. And I just did a side bang and added a little bit of curl to the front of my hair. So what I want to do is I'm just going to take the top section of my hair. And by the way, I've added a small amount of this texturizing spray. And I'm going to back comb. I'm using a teasing brush. I'm just going to add a little bit of volume to the top of my hair. Now, I have a few hair ties ready on my wrist. They're the same color as my hair. And what I'm going to do is gather my hair down low. And we're going to see how this goes. It might take a couple of tries. I'm going to pull out some of the hair here in the front. Okay, I'm going to turn around so hopefully that you can see. I'm going to take a ponytail band, bring it around, and as it's here, I'm going to grab this hair and put this hair in the band. Tuck it in. And then I'm going to take another band and put it around that hair. And let me have a look here to see if I'm happy with what I have. Okay, that's not bad. Now these little loose pieces that you have, you see I have hanging here. I'm going to take those and I'm going to secure them with a bobby pin. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up on this hair a little bit just to add to the poof at the top. Kind of stick my finger in there and lift it up a little bit. These pieces sort of still want to fall out. A few pieces being, you know, sticking out is okay because it is sort of a messy bun. I have a snag on my nail. And it's grabbing, it's catching the hair. Okay. I think that's, well, it's kind of hard for me to see. quick and easy low messy bun. I'm going to add a little bit of spray. A little stronger hairspray today. This is Pantene number four. It's non-aerosol. As always, thanks for watching and until next time.